Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. The Huawei Mate 9. I've already done a hardware video on this, an overview on this device, but we're going to do a software tour. Hopefully it's not gonna be an extremely long video, but it could be. Now, please, if, if you don't watch the whole video, you can skip through it, but go back and watch it again. Try to get through the whole thing. You know, I put a lot of work into these videos and I would appreciate that you would at least try to finish it and one or two or three views, but that you do finish it so you can get um, a lot of what I'm trying to say. There's there's times that I get feedback and somebody asks a question and it's in the video. And so I'll tell them, hey man, go back and watch the video. The answer to that question's in the video. Um, I, I do answer it at times, but sometimes I, I leave it at that and hopefully they'll go back and watch it because the answers will be there. But if there's something I don't get to, please let me know. Um, but we're gonna do a software tour. This is the Huawei Mate 9. It is running. EMUI um, 5.0 over the top of Android Nougat 7.0. So obviously there's a skin, the, the uh, Huawei skin over the top of Android Nougat. So we're gonna press and hold on my homepage. You got wallpapers, widgets, transitions, and settings. If you go to wallpapers, um, you can choose these wallpapers down here. You can go in the gallery or online. And what's really cool is that you have this illusion setting to where you can blur it out if you want the wallpaper or not and scrollable so basically when you're going from page to page uh, on your user interface from your home page to the other pages this will allow the wallpaper to actually move along with the um, when you're going from page to page it'll move the wallpaper back and forth if that makes sense if you don't have that on the wallpaper will just stay in place and you'll just go from page to page, but it'll stay centered and it will not move. So that's an option. Um, I'm gonna pick this wallpaper and we're gonna go to scrollable. I'm gonna go to yes, and you can choose for lock screen, home screen, or both. I'm gonna choose for both. And I'll show you what I mean by that scrollable. I don't like the blur action. So we're just gonna leave that the way it is. And it's thinking. And if we do this, you can see how the wallpaper is scrolling back and forth as I transition from page to page, okay? So let's go back into the widgets. They're at the bottom. And you can actually change your home page to one of the other pages if you want by touching that little house icon. Um, and you can add a page to that way. So let's go back out. Transitions, you can change your transitions. So if I want perspective or squeeze, or box. Let's see. Page. Let's see page. See how that does that? There you go. I, you know what? I really don't get into a lot of these areas or gestures or anything like that. But for some of you that really want to customize your device, there you go. Now the settings is actually for the home page. So you have your home layout. It's on 5.5 by 5, which means you're gonna have five icons from top to bottom and five icons from right to left or left to right, okay? If you go into that area, you can change it up four by five, five by four, or five by five. Pretty cool. Auto align, automatically fill vacancy after you remove an application. Shake, shake to realign home screen icons. So you can shake the device and all of them go back to wherever you had it before, I guess. Again, I do not get into doing a lot of this because it actually uses more battery than, than it needs to. And I'll forget that I even have it on and not even use it. App suggestions, home screen loop basically allows you to go from page to page and, and it starts over so it doesn't end and stop then you have to go back. It just keeps going and going and going as you're doing uh, that transitioning from page to page. Auto rotate, allow your home screen to rotate automatically. So if you're using this in your car, you got a mount and you turn your device sideways, it's going to allow your home page to turn sideways with you. Okay, that makes sense. Pretty cool. So that's basically it as far as that part of the device. We're gonna go into the toggle area. I love the notifications, totally dig that every notification here. This is where um, you have basically the layout of the EMU, EMUI layout over the top of Nougat. So Nougat is set up like this. Um, and again, it's not gonna look like stock Android Nougat, but 
somewhat the two are meshed together the emui with nougat meshed together and this is what Huawei came up with and it looks really good i really dig it i really like it a lot so if you hit the little arrow down on that notification which is my studio it's going to give you all the information from that notification and if you want you can just swipe away and it's gone okay very nice and if you pull down you got your toggles now you do have an arrow up here so if you hit that arrow up it shows you everything if you hit the arrow down it brings down the toggles you can edit your toggles and you can reset and all of you know how to do that and you can go into settings okay so we got let's go to the top airplane airplane mode dual sim management nice dual sim wi-fi bluetooth mobile data and more i wanted to show you here in mobile network that you do have volte calls use 4g lt data to place hd calls so volte is on this device I do not see Wi-Fi calling. Hopefully there'll be an update, software update where Wi-Fi calling will come to this device. If it's on here and I'm missing it, you let me know down below, okay? Um, I'm not perfect with these type of videos. I'm always gonna miss something or get something wrong, but I love the um, feedback that I get because this team here is is really cool and really nice to let me know, hey, hey, you got that half right, this is really what it is, or you got it completely wrong, this is what it is. So really love how all of you respond especially when I'm making a video and I get something wrong or halfway wrong or right. Um, but I, I like the fact that Volte is on there. Um, you do have these three little lines up in the corner. And if you tap it, this is new good here too. It brings over all the settings. Okay. So you can use it like that or you can just go down and use it in a regular way. Um, I don't know. I, I, th I don't know if I like that or not, if that's just too much. This is typically the way I do it. It's nice to have that because basically if you're in home screen style, okay, and you hit that, it allows you to stay there, hit one of these, and then you just go back to that as well. Um, so let's go back to home screen style. Um, standard and drawer. Basically, I have it to where I have an app drawer. If you don't want the app drawer and you just want it the way Huawei originally had their devices set up without the app drawer, you can hit standard, show all apps on home screen, Again, drawer, show app, all apps on drawer screen. I have the drawer, I like my drawer, so we're gonna keep it like that, okay? Uh, display, you got wallpaper, view mode, I got it on large, and you can get it medium or small. I wear glasses, so I need large. You got font size, font style, daydream, eye comfort, which basically filter out blue light to help relieve visual fatigue so you can set that up for yourself when you're reading and it's too bright and you want a little more um, you want to ease up the uh, visual and your eyes are straining to to look at what you're reading on on a web page or something like that this is going to help out a lot um, you can cre create warmer or less warm as far as the color on that so that's really cool for some of you who like that and read a lot especially uh, brightness cool temperature um, so you can have default, warm, or cold. This display already is vivid, sharp, and clear. Again, it's IPS LCD, but literally, you, you really visually looks like you're staring into an AMOLED display, but you can actually mess with that a little bit and make it that much more punchy or less punchy, more real to life with the warm area there. But cool, cool uh, feature there. Uh, you can set your sleep time and auto rotate screen far as the uh, rotation of the device itself uh, let's see sound now in here hey you got dual sim so you can set up all your ringtones notification tones uh, uh, notification tones and all that and you got your silent mode vibrate in silent mode that's if everything's turned off but you want it to vibrate if you get a notification while you're sleeping you can have that on um, if you have headphones on, it does have headset DTS mode, okay? So, put some headphones into the headphone jack area, turn that on, and your music or a video or movie you're watching is just going to sound amazing. It already sounds amazing. I don't even know if I'm going to use that, but it's there if you want it. Stereo Plus, landscape orientation automatically switches audio from f to stereo. Now, I'm sure f if I'm saying that right, is mono. Uh, 
I had a question about that the other day. Um, I communicated with Jay Will because we actually uh, talk outside of this, the YouTube channel. And um, I was like, why is it that when I'm listening to music in portrait mode and I turn it sideways, it pauses for a quick second and then it changes sound. None of my other devices do it. So he went in and checked and he said that actually it was going from like mono to stereo. And I was like, huh, okay. I go, yeah, you're right, but why is it pausing like that? Well, then I came through here and found that that was on. And because that's on, it's changing from mono to stereo. With it off, when you go from portrait to landscape, there's no pausing and no changing of the quality of the sound that you're getting. It stays exactly the same. But if you have it on and you switch it, it's gonna go from mono to stereo. So it actually changes the quality of what you're hearing. Really cool. So if you're listening to music and you have that on, you have it sideways, you're gonna get more of a stereo sound. If you go back to portrait, it's gonna give you more of that mono sound, if that makes any sense. The earpiece doubles up as a speaker and you get more treble out of here and you get more bass out of the bottom speaker here. Um, the stereo, that being on actually makes it more equal in sound. So it's very interesting that it works. So thanks Jay for um, pointing that out. He actually did a video, um, the uh, ZTX on seven versus the Huawei Mate nine. And he did a very thorough a go through on this area. So that's really, really cool. Anyway, I'm glad that got figured out. Shout out to you, Jay. Uh, touch sounds, screen lock sounds, screenshot tone. I don't even know why I have that on. Vibrate on touch, but yeah, I'm gonna turn that off. Again, I don't use a lot of this. Um, notification status bar, pulse notification light, yes. Display carrier name, yes. Display network speed, no. Battery percentage. Yes, I have that up top, T-Mobile. And um, again, these are all areas you can just mess with and use uh, navigational key. On the bottom, you have your keys on screen, recent apps, home and back. You can change those apps or those keys. You can change it up however you want it, whatever style you want, as far as how those are set up there on your display. And you can add that little guy right there is going to bring down from the top show up that it's going to basically show your toggles so from the top of the device it's going to pull down and you're going to be able to get in your toggle area and get the settings or your notifications and all of that um, i don't use any of that i like to set up the way it is again too much is too much for me some of you get into all of those customizations but then you wonder why your battery life is being killed off right well that's one of the variables that go into it uh, fingerprint ID that allows you to set up, that's your fingerprint management, allows you to touch, hold, and gesture. Basically, you can um, set up the fingerprint sensor on the back to take a photo or shoot video, to answer a call, to stop an alarm. Uh, you can slide from top to bottom to uh, bring down the notification, um, uh, top of the notification panel there to bring it down. So you'll just basically slide your finger down like this and it'll bring that from the top to the bottom so you can see uh, your notifications without having to pull that using your finger and pull down that area there so that's pretty cool uh, and browse photos um, basically when you're in photos you can go from right to left rubbing that area or touching that area or sliding that area I guess and that'll allow the pictures to go back and forth so that's pretty cool if that's something you're into I'm gonna turn this on and then I'll show you how that works when I completely go out of there. Hopefully I don't forget. Screen lock and passwords. Wow. Doing videos like this, I mean, I'm gonna tell you something. You really have to think, this is why I don't do these a lot. And some of you really want me to do more of these videos, but a lot goes into the thought process of getting this right and not screwing up the words that you wanna use and trying to describe these areas to all of you. I mean, that is difficult because as, as a raw and real YouTuber, underground YouTuber, as Otec Time puts it, I mean, we really cover a lot. A lot more than a lot of the other YouTubers out there cover. They do a great job, but we really try to give you way more. And I'm telling you, the thought process and making sure everything comes out right, wow, man, it's just crazy. Anyway, you can set up your passwords, secure lock screens, smart unlock, uh, screen lock style, um, magazine unlock, what is that? Subscriptions, wow, we featured like of photography, travel, transportation, celebrity style, life sports. Yeah, anyway, 
that's something you can get into if you decide you want to pick up this device. Lock screen signature, my Project 13. Uh, show step count on lock screen. Check it out. Why, if you have that on while you're walking all day long, it's going to show you how many steps you t you, you've taken all day long on your lock screen. I turned it off. I don't need it. Um, smart assistance. Floating dock. It's going to be off to the edge. This load of little floating dock. If you turn this on and it's going to have... It's going to enable floating dock and it will appear on most screens. The dock can be dragged to the left or right edges for easier access. Touch the dock to expand and quickly access back, home, recent tax screen lock, and one touch optimization. I do not have that on. I don't need that extra uh, floating dock on my home page at all. That's something, and there's a lot of other devices that actually have that too. Um, it's, it's a neat feature. If you're into that, again, me, not so much. Okay. Um, let's see, motion control, flip to mute, pick up to reduce ring volume, raise to ear, raise to answer or make calls, control the speaker, Bluetooth headset, knuckle gestures, uh, screenshot, smart screenshot. So basically with your knuckle, if you hit it with your knuckle, the, your display, it'll take a screenshot, which is really cool. Use your knuckles to take a normal scrolling screenshot, capture part of the screen or record a video clip of yours. Draw. Draw a letter to open applications. So you can do that. A letter C can go for camera, but you can change that up. So even though it says C for camera right there or draw E for Chrome, you can actually change that to whatever you want. Okay. Uh, split screen gesture. Use your knuckles to draw a line across your screen to enter split, uh, split screen mode. That's pretty cool, but it has nougat on here. So you can hold the recent application key and you can go into sp split screen mode just like any other device that has nougat has it on my 6p really nice motion control uh one hand ui mini screen view so actually it minimizes your home page and all your other pages so you can use one hand that's pretty cool shifting keyboard you can make the keyboard smaller for one hand use as well either right or left i'm sure a lot of you have seen that uh, voice control, smart cover in case you buy a case with a flip case that's a flip case. It'll have a little window, so that will be uh, usable for that. Smart he headset control. Smart headset control lets you enjoy a variety of convenient features. For example, you can use the headset control to add a song to your favorite or switch playback mode when Wowie Music is used. Hmm. Mirror share, share, mirror share. Scheduled power on and off, touch disable mode, uh, prevent mistaken operations being carried. In other words, if you have this on um, and you have it in pocket and you didn't turn off your device before putting it in pocket or in purse, um, it will prevent from the device hitting anything in your pocket or your purse uh, and turning something on like you're making a phone call. What do we call that? Like butt dialing? <laughs> so, yeah. And you got gloves mode right now, like it's just crazy snowing outside and we have like eight, nine inches of snow, right? another snowstorm. We just had two ice storms, now a snowstorm. So if you're using gloves, you got the glove mode um, gesture there or feature, whatever you want to call that. Uh, do not disturb Google account, accounts, add a Gmail, email, um, your apps. And then you can go into your apps and you can look at your storage data usage permissions and so forth a lot of this you already know memory and storage you got the internal at 64 gigs 46 gigs i still got a lot of internal storage freed up and my sd card which is a 64 gigger you can switch um, when when i'm downloading anything from the play store or a third-party app I, it's automatically going to go to my SD card because I've, I've chosen the default location for SD card. If you want it to go back to internal, and if you touch that to go back to internal, it's going to do it, but it's going to turn the device off and back on every time you change that. Storage cleaner. This allows you to clean up, memory cleanup, cache trash, app cache, and so forth. So I can clean 328 megabytes of garbage. And there you go. I cleared 328 megabytes. Nice. Finish. Back out. Battery. 
You got 29 hours and eight minutes left. No saving modes on whatsoever. Consumption level. Let's go here. Screen. I have one hour and seven minutes. I have 91% left. I'm headed for a good day and I've already been using this device a lot, a lot. Um, if I tap the blue screen, I, I've been using it for three hours, I think is what it's saying. Estimated time left one day in five hours. Wow, crazy, crazy. Uh, let's see, app twin, I don't really understand this. It's basically saying if I'm in two accounts, I can use a twin app on both accounts. When app twin is enabled, you can log into two different accounts for the same app at the same time. Hmm. Twin apps will be displayed on the home screen. This feature is not supported on a third party home screens right now, like Nova Launcher, Google Not Launcher, or Pixel Launcher, or anything like that. Okay, uh, advanced settings, date, time, user, simple mode. Simple mode is just, we've all seen that. In case you don't wanna mess with hardly anything on the device and you just wanna use your device mostly for phone calls or messaging, camera, that's it, music. I mean, just really, really simple. Uh, location access, security, printing, in case you need to print anything important from your Gmail or email. Uh, backup reset, data transmission, accessibility, uh, system update, let's EMUI 5.0. Let's check for update. Yes, this is a very long video. No updates. And about phone. Okay. So we're running EMUI version 5.0, Android version 7.0. It's all right there. The Huawei Mate 9 device name. I can change that, but I'm not going to because I like the name that it is. Well, there you go. A software tour. Pretty intense. I probably could have been even more thorough than that. If there's anything I didn't get right, please let me know. If you enjoyed this type of video, leave a thumbs up, leave some feedback down below. Again, I don't do this that often. Wow, because a lot of thought process goes into it. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Please watch the whole video if you can, or at least skip through it once, then the next time, the next time, at some point, finish it off. Um, if there's something else you wanna know about this device, let me know. Again, if this is your first time here on my Project 13, welcome. Check out all the videos I have here. Got a great team supporting this channel. Uh, yeah, share, donate. Just become a part of my Project 13 because you are my Project 13. Peace, God bless, I'm out.